Okay, I know that all happened really quickly. Let's take a moment, take a deep breath. Let's slow this down for a second. I know that was a lot to process, but this video was really just an overall exaggeration of my experience in India. India is undisputedly one of the craziest, most hectic places that I've ever witnessed. I really wanted this video to resemble the flexibility of the mind that the culture has here and their capabilities of dealing with this type of high stress environment and just going with the flow. It just seems so natural. Everything just goes as it needs to and flows from one scene to another. It's just committing and moving forward. So now I wanted to share with you three scenes from India that I found to be just insanely fascinating, but also really embodied this theme of flow. The first place I wanna talk about is the largest Dobi Ghat. The Dobi Ghat is where laundry is performed. And this is the biggest one in Mumbai. It is the largest outdoor laundry facility in the entire world. With 7,000 employees, they process over 100,000 garments every single day. They wash, color dye, scrub, rinse, hang dry, and then iron press every single item before redistributing them to local laundries, hotels, and garment dealers. Despite working 18 to 20 hours a day, this is much more than just a place of employment. The Dobi Gad is a community. This one alone houses around 200 families, as this occupation is passed down to each generation. I want to introduce you to one of the most sacred rivers in the entire world. This is the Ganges River and it is a major lifeline to millions across India. Despite being contaminated with 100 times the legal amount of fecal matter. The Hindus bathe in this water for redemption. It is said that a single wash can clean an entire lifetime of sin. And on specific dates, up to 10 lifetimes, as it is believed that Shiva lives at the source of the Ganges River. Even the deceased are granted salvation, as long as the cremation is performed on the riverbank. The ashes are then spread into the river, making it a vehicle to heaven. It is really no surprise that families journey all across the country to pay homage to their ancestors here. This last scene is not really like an educational portion, but it was a very dear experience to me. After finishing a day of shooting, we decided to grab a tuk-tuk and head back to our hotel. Not too far past the Taj Mahal, I looked over and saw a crowd in an open field. Turns out they were all playing cricket. I have never personally seen a game of cricket, so I walked over to the field and everybody kind of just looked over at us. I think we looked kind of lost or out of place and they invited us to play. Despite our lack of expertise in the game, and the slight language barrier that we had between us, it was still just such a real, authentic experience. You have these fields and all these kids playing and the Taj Mahal literally just sitting right behind them. It was an incredible scene. And being accepted and becoming an extension of a community that you just met is one of the huge reasons why I love India. And these are the types of experiences that just make you fall in love with traveling. Thank you so much for the support so far. Make sure you subscribe here or here. More content on the way, of course. You're not gonna wanna miss that. Thank you so much for watching again and all of your support. And we will talk again soon.